Jason, what's your state of mind this season? You're an undrafted rookie, you really earned that role on the team. So what is that mindset? For me, uh, it's just to continue to get better, um, continue to learn. You know, I'm around a, a bunch of vets, a bunch of guys who've, you know, played a lot of football. So for me, it's about soaking up as much knowledge as I possibly can and just continue to get better and, and, and reach my potential. Is it as you expected, the NFL? Um, I would say so, um, to a certain degree. Um, you know, the game's obviously fast, but I think now I think what really separates players is, you know, technique. It's, it's less about physicality and ability or how fast or, you know, everybody's fast. Everybody's strong. Everybody can do, you know, all those things now. So now it's about how you're going to separate yourself as a player. You know, how great is your technique? You know, do you have false steps, you know, on the snap? All those kinds of things. It just comes down to the little things, I think, at the league. So you're born here in California, but you're raised out on the East Coast. So right. let's look at the East Coast versus the West Coast. Okay. Which one has better weather? Have better weather? Definitely the West Coast. I know it's been <laughs> raining this week, but yeah, it's yeah. rain that is... Definitely the West well, Coast. Welcome. It's going to turn uh, me soft, to be honest. <laughs> so if you had to choose one coast to live on for the rest of your life, which one is it? If it's the rest of my life, it'd be West Coast. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I like the, the warm weather too much. Yeah, the sunshine is hard to beat. Yeah, exactly. You have a really close relationship with your mom. She is a super fan, your number one fan. Yeah. Tell me what it was like growing up with her. Uh, I mean, my mom's been, been the greatest thing uh, I could ever could have imagined. Um, you know, she's just taking care of me from, from day one, um, you know, working multiple jobs, driving me back and forth from practice, from multiple sports. Uh, I mean, she's really done it all for me. So you know, I'm really thankful for her and re really thankful for you know, the position she's been able to put me in. What was that conversation like when you finally not only are employed by the Raiders, but you're in that starting spot? It, it was a big 360, <laughs> without a doubt, from, you know, from going undrafted to, you know, Starting the year off on practice squad to now, you know, being activated and now, you know, starting. Um, it, it's been a lot. Um, I think for me, it's just about, you know, staying with the ebb and flow, you know, not getting too high, not getting too low, just you know, attacking one day at a time. But, you know, my mom is, she's super proud. She, she's really happy for me. So I heard a rumor that you speak French. Where did you pick up the second language? I don't speak French, but my <laughs> mom talks about how in high school she knew French. So I know un, deux, trois, quatre, six, sept. Where did I, did I screw that up? Oui, Are we six, good? Six, sept, yeah. Huit, neuf, dix. Ma famille, je viens de Cameroon. C'est pourquoi je parle français. I was born in California, but my sisters, my parents, they're all born in, in Cameroon, and you know, that's the official language of Cameroon is French, and that's kind of the reason why I speak French. Which one is harder for you to master? Um, probably French. With French, there are different types of accents that can make French a lot harder to understand. Like, if you hear a Cameroonian person speak French, and then you go to like Canada and you hear somebody speak French, and then you go to like Paris, like there can be phrases and stuff that are said that are like completely like not the same, or just the way like a Paris French is, how they talk really fast, like it can be hard to pick up. So I think that's probably French. Where Fascinating. The is I, this is something I'm learning for the first time. <laughs> If you weren't in the NFL, what would you be doing? Good question. If I wasn't in the NFL, what would I be doing? I would probably be either in New York working on Wall Street or I would be a sports broadcaster. When you were a little kid, did you just dream of being a football player or were there other um, dreams that you had? <laughs> Honestly, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be a, a video game designer. When I was a little kid, hey, I was like five time. or six. <laughs> You're still young. I mean, no, this I, is... I had, to, I had to throw that one in the garbage. <laughs> Let's go! What has it been like getting to know the Raider Nation? Obviously, they're known to be a rowdy bunch. I mean, these are the most loyal fans in football. Oh, it's awesome. It, the Raider Nation, I mean, the fans are, are amazing. Um, you know, when I went to Penn State, you know, that was, that was another reason why I, I loved, you know, Penn State was our fans were just crazy. You know, they came to the games and they came to be the show. And I think, you know, Raider Nation's the same way, man. They come and they want to be the show. I mean, they come, you know, like you said, you know, they're a rowdy bunch. They're screaming their heads off for all 60 minutes of the game. So we really appreciate them, their support. What is next for you as a football player? You know, at the end of this year, you know, really evaluate myself, you know, really target what I believe are, are you know, my weaknesses or where my game can improve and, and really attack, you know, this offseason and, and turn those things into strengths.